I talked to uh, Chief Assistant Brad Seabury, who will do the bulk of the presentation tonight. It's about a 45 minute uh, presentation. And I asked Brad, how many times have you done this? And I've been with him uh, many, many times, not all of them, but he told me somewhere around 150 presentations he's done. Um, and I've probably been to close to half, I guess. Uh, Alton's been to many, sheriffs usually there. So we've been, we've been all over. We've been all over Morris County. Uh, this past Sunday, we presented at a church in uh, uh, Harding Township. Uh, we'll be doing a presentation for the New Jersey Association of Counties at their annual conference in uh, uh, Atlantic City next month. Uh, and we've spoken to the League of Municipalities. Some of the elected officials might have heard our presentation before. But um, what you're gonna hear tonight is gonna be disturbing to you, and it should be. Uh, this is a, an epidemic that has hit New Jersey, it's hit the entire country. Opioids and heroin are killing people daily. The statistics are just staggering. Approximately 170 people in the United States are dying every day from drug overdoses. Imagine that. Last year, in 2017, Nationally, approximately 64,000 Americans died of overdoses. And just to put that into perspective, I'm dating myself. Everybody remember the Vietnam War. 59,000 Americans died during the Vietnam War, which took, I believe, over 13 years. Yet last year, we had 64,000 Americans die from overdoses. I don't see people marching in the streets like they did to end the Vietnam War. This is a war. Whether you want to accept it or not, this is a war. People are dying every day. So people ask, well, what is the prosecutor's office doing? You'll hear about the sheriff's office, you'll hear about Morris Cares, but what's the prosecutor's office doing? We're doing three things. One is traditional law enforcement interdiction, uh, arresting drug dealers. Our targets are for-profit drug dealers. Not the users, but the people who are selling heroin, opioids, cocaine, you name it, all the illegal substances, and trying to get that under control as best we can. That's the traditional law enforcement function. But we, what we have learned, painfully we have learned in this state throughout the country, is that, you'll hear this term a lot, we can't arrest our way out of this problem. Simply locking people up and putting them in jail is not going to, to help this problem. It's simply not, because there's an endless supply. You'll hear about fentanyl, which is being sent to this country from China. Opioids, which are sold as prescription medications, of course, heroin. All of them are, are deadly. These are deadly poisons that are killing people daily. 